Hi, welcome to Parent Wolf. Today we're going to look at important fixed phrases and expressions in English involving the brain and the mind. English has lots of idioms, expressions, and fixed phrases that are used in particular situations, and often the meaning isn't obvious. The best thing, though, is they're fun to use and they make the English language much more interesting and vibrant. So let's get started. I haven't made up my mind yet. This is a simple expression that means you have not decided. It's often used when you have more than one choice and you have to choose. You can change the word order. An example in context is John can never make his mind up about what to have for dinner. He takes ages to decide. Next, you need to take your mind off things. This is a simple expression that means to take your attention away from a problem. It's often used when you want to distract yourself for a temporary period. You can change the pronouns and verb tense. Another example is I took my mind off my marriage problems by playing football with my friends. Next, I'm in two minds as to whether I should buy another pint. This is a simple expression that means undecided. It's used when you have only two options and you can't decide between them. You can change the pronoun, but it's almost always I. Another example is, I don't know whether to take a coat or not. I'm in two minds. Next, my mind's gone blank. This is a simple expression that means you can't remember. It's used to describe a sudden loss of memory or when you forget something very simple or basic, like someone's name. You can change the pronouns, but it's often my, and you can also add completely. Another example is, Yesterday, I bumped into, oh, what's his name? Ah, oh, my mind's gone completely blank. Next, can I pick your brains about something? This is a simple expression that means ask for an opinion. It's used to get advice and thoughts from someone with expertise on a subject. You can change the pronouns. Another example is, I need to pick Andy's brains later about my job interview. Next, it hadn't crossed my mind. This is a simple expression that means I hadn't thought about it. You can use the positive or negative form on this one. Another example is, even though we came in the car, it had crossed my mind that we'd need to get a taxi to get home. Next, John is the brains behind the operation. This is a simple expression that means the person responsible. It's often used to talk about a business, organization, or an idea and its success. You can change the words. An example in context is, even though the manager takes the credit, his wife is the real brains behind the football club's success. Next, I'll bear that in mind. This is a simple expression that means I will remember that. It's used to show consideration. You can split the words here. Another example is, bear in mind that John doesn't like David, so don't invite both of them to the party. Next, he can't get his head around it. This is a simple expression that means to not understand. It's used for something you find complex or detailed. You can change the pronouns. An example in context is, my uncle can't get his head around using a smartphone, so he never downloads apps. Next, I'm losing my mind. This is a simple expression that means to go crazy. It can also sometimes be used for anger, but it's mostly for confusion and madness. You can change the pronouns. An example in context is, if I stay in the house too long watching TV, I start to lose my mind. Okay, so we've got 10 expressions and phrases we can use to talk about the mind and brain. I know there's one with head, but it's the same topic, so it's okay. Remember, some of these phrases you can edit and some you can't, but with most of them, you're safe with a standard phrase. So to summarize, we've looked at make up my mind, take your mind off it, I'm in two minds, my mind's gone blank, pick your brains, it crossed my mind, the brain's behind it, bear it in mind, get your head around it, and lose my mind. To find out more about learning English for Cambridge and IELTS exams, business and work, or general conversation, visit parrotandwolf.com.